made to house some of the world's wealthiest and most important figures, these homes take security to a whole new level. With advanced technology and fortified designs, here are the top 15 most secure houses in the world. Number 15, Kronstadt, Fort Alexander. When it comes to secure spots, few are as difficult to access as Kronstadt, Fort Alexander. Located off the Gulf of Finland in the Baltic Sea, it's a naval fortress that was first built by Russia in 1845 in order to protect the city of St. Petersburg. Consisting of over 5,000 square meters of space, this massive walled island contained 103 cannons and 34 guns, making it extremely difficult for enemy ships to sail past it. However, in 1896, it fell out of use by the military, and up until the Russian Revolution, it was used as a bacteria research facility. From 1917 onwards, the fort has served a number of uses, and while it's now mostly abandoned, it is still extremely secure, as it isn't exactly one of the most accessible places out there. Number 14, the Zombie Bunker. Let's be honest here, the chances of zombies coming down and taking over the planet Earth are slim to none. Yet in the unlikely case that that does happen, the zombie bunker has you covered. Located on the outskirts of the Polish city of Warsaw, it's a solid concrete block that's reportedly one of Europe's most secure homes. That's because it is not only surrounded by seven-foot walls, but more importantly, can completely close itself off to the outside world. This is thanks to the fact that it has concrete and iron shields that can emerge in order to block off every entrance and every window, making what appears to be a cool futuristic house into a zombie bunker at the drop of a hat. While it will likely never have to serve its intended zombie-related purpose, I bet that this house would be a cool place to call home. Number 13, Fairfield Estate. The Hamptons are known to house some of the most luxurious homes on the planet. Yet even amongst these heavyweights, Fairfield Estate stands apart. Owned by billionaire Ira Rennard, the estate not only has impressive features such as a 27-meter-long dining room, a 164-seat theater, and a garage that can hold up to 100 cars, but more importantly, it's home to Rennard's $500 million art collection. In order to keep all of these high-priced items safe, Renard has implemented some top-notch security. More specifically, he has installed a set of high-tech security gates, thousands of cameras that monitor every corner of the estate, security guards, and bulletproof windows to prevent break-ins. So, it's going to be pretty difficult to enter this home uninvited. Number 12, the Diefenbunker. While the Diefenbunker may be a blast from the past, in the event of a nuclear war, it would have quickly become one of the world's safest homes. Located about 30 kilometers west of the Canadian capital of Ottawa, it's an underground bunker that was completed in 1961 to protect Canadian government officials in the event of a nuclear attack. Designed to withstand the force of a five megaton bomb going off as little as 1.8 kilometers away, it had massive blast doors and air filtration machines to ensure that a total of 565 people could survive and work for a month without needing a resupply from above ground. However, in 1994, this incredibly secure home was decommissioned, and it's now the site of a Cold War museum. Number 11, Kim Jong-un's home. We think it's fair to say that Kim Jong-un is one of the world's most hated men, and due to his notoriety, it should come as no surprise that his home is armed to the nines with security technology. Located in northern Pyongyang, the entire thing has an area of 12 square kilometers, yet all of this space doesn't mean that the home is badly secured. After all, not only does it have more standard features for a stately home such as round-the-clock security guards and an electric fence, but more importantly, the complex has a set of minefields that can blow potential intruders to bits. If that's not enough, the home is also connected to some of Kim Jong-un's secondary residents through a network of underground tunnels, allowing the dictator and his family to escape the property at a moment's notice. So if you ever go to North Korea, I'd strongly suggest that you not try to access Kim Jong-un's home. Number 10, the Adirondack Park Missile Silo House. While the Adirondack Park Missile Silo House may not look like much, it was home to one of the deadliest weapons in human history. Built in 1960 in upstate New York, the 4,100-square-foot home used to house an Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile. While this missile has since been removed and the house has been decommissioned, it's still incredibly secure. 
That's because the 1,800 square foot cabin home not only has a 2,300 square foot underground extension, but a nine level cylindrical structure that's built to withstand a nuclear attack. This cylinder is set apart from the rest of the house by a 15 meter long tunnel and a pair of thick 900 kilogram blast doors. So in case of an emergency, you'd be pretty safe hiding out inside this structure. Number nine, the Bill Gates Mansion. Bill Gates is the king of tech, and so it makes sense that his home has some of the top-of-the-line security. To prevent intruders from coming in, it has heat sensors that can detect movements from as much as 1.6 kilometers away from the house, and a large network of security cameras. But to prevent trouble from occurring inside the house, the mansion also has an impressive micro-pin system. Upon entering the house, each guest is given a special pin. And while it does cool things, such as change the temperature of the rooms and the ambient music in the background, it also tracks your movements. This is then combined with the data taken from the pressure-sensitive floor so that your activities can be tracked. And as such, if you ever get an invitation to visit the Gates house, just remember that you'll continuously be watched. Number eight, Sealand. Of all the entries on this list, few are as notorious as Sealand. Originally built as a British fort during World War II, it was occupied by a British radio broadcaster named Patrick Bates after the war, and for years he used the fortress in order to illegally run a radio station. There have been several incidents where either the British Navy or foreign adversaries tried to take Sealand out of Bates's hands, but in every instance they've been repelled. This is because Sealand is located in international waters and sits atop a tall platform, and as such, it's nearly impossible for anyone to land on top of it. To top this off, the Bates family, who still live on Sealand, are a top-notch security force in their own right, as they have gone as far as to fire warning shots at the British Navy and legitimately shoot at trespassers. So, I wouldn't suggest trying to visit Sealand uninvited. Number 7. The Rice House as far as secure mansions go, the Rice House is one of the United States' most beautiful and most secure homes. Located in Atlanta, Georgia, and spanning 36,000 square feet, it was modeled after the Greek Acropolis and comes complete with elegant columns and entrance steps that were adapted from the design of the Rialto Bridge in Venice, Italy. Yet beyond its good looks, the Rice House also has some top-notch security. While the entirety of the house features reinforced walls, bulletproof windows, and concealed entrances and exits, it also has a few extra special features. For example, important rooms such as the master and guest bedrooms are secured using Kevlar ballistic doors that are capable of stopping shots from an AK-47 and an AR-15. And perhaps the home's most impressive feature is its 15,000 square foot underground bunker. While many of the details surrounding this bunker are top secret, it's supplied by a municipal water supply, three 1,000-foot deep wells, and a reserve tank of purified water. And in the event of a catastrophe, the bunker can reportedly sustain inhabitants for up to three years. So, in the case of a natural catastrophe, few places would be safer than the Rice House. Number six, the Intel Tiny House. Tiny houses have been all the rage in recent years, and while most people wouldn't think that a tiny 210 square foot home would have great security, the Intel Tiny House is a bit different. That's because unlike most homes, the entirety of the house can be controlled by an app, meaning that benign settings such as temperature controls and more security-based settings such as door locks can all be controlled by you no matter where you're located. If you'd like an added level of security, you can wire the house with voice recognition technology so that the house only responds to your commands. To top this off, the house even has facial recognition scan features. This will scan the faces of those at your door, and while it will allow you to enter if it recognizes you, it will also send an alert to your phone if someone unrecognized approaches, and then give you the option to either unlock the door or call the police. So, while this home may not be commercially viable just yet, we hope that Intel one day decides to sell it to the masses, because I'll buy one. Number five, the Tardigrade House. While most of the homes on this list are made to withstand security breaches, the Tardigrade House is a little bit different. Located in Berkeley, California, it's named after the Tardigrade, which is a microscopic creature that's known for being the most indestructible animal on the planet. And given the home's features, this makes a lot of sense. You see, the walls of the house were created using rastra, which is a special concrete infused with compressed, recycled coffee cups. 
This is beneficial as it's extremely fire, flood, mildew, and termite resistant, while also being insulated enough to reduce sound levels outside by up to 50 decibels. To protect against earthquakes, the house is supported by Structolite, which is a super strong plaster that can flex and bend without breaking under pressure, and a set of cables, which can move while keeping the house intact. The Tardigrade house even keeps its eye on its neighbors, and it has four water jets on its exterior that can fight the flames on a neighbor's house in case it catches on fire. So therefore, while this house may have an odd shape and may not look too conventional, it's easily one of the most indestructible homes on the planet. Number four, Buckingham Palace. The British royal family are some of the most high-profile folks on the planet, so it should come as no surprise that the 775-room Buckingham Palace has top-notch security. The first line of defense at the palace is the Queen's Guard, which consists of foot and horse guards from the British Army that patrol the inside and outside of the home 24-7. In case of more serious threats, Buckingham Palace also has panic rooms to protect the royal family. These are surrounded by 46 centimeter thick steel walls and are designed to protect senior members of the royal family from poison gas, bomb attacks, and assassination by terrorists. Equipped with secure communication devices, beds, washing facilities, and enough food and water stores to last for at least a week, these panic rooms truly are top of the line. Yet, despite all of this security, several people have managed to enter the place uninvited. The most notorious was Michael Fagan, who broke into the palace twice in 1982, with this being possible due to the police simply ignoring the alarms he set off due to the fact that they thought these alarms were broken. So yeah, in recent years, the security detail at the palace has been a little bit more attentive. Number three, Indian Creek Island. Few subdivisions are quite as safe as the heavily fortified community at Indian Creek Island. Located in Miami, Florida, the island is home to residents such as Julio Iglesias and Adriana Lima. And while it has luxury features such as an 18-hole golf course and private beach, its security detail is even more impressive. That's because the 32 homes located on the island are patrolled by 15 full-time policemen via jet ski, jeep, and boat 24 hours a day, seven days a week, making it extremely difficult for an intruder to land on the island. Yet, if you even get past the guards, a lot of the homes on this island have additional security measures. For example, 3 Indian Creek Road, which sold for $49.9 million in 2019, not only has spas, media rooms, and a seven-limo garage, and a 30-meter-long infinity-edge pool, but it also has some pretty cool security features. For example, the home has its own generator in case an intruder decides to cut the power, and has a panic room that's policed by a fingerprint recognition system, and even an infrared surveillance system that surrounds the entire property. So, the chance of a common criminal stealing something from any of these homes is incredibly low. Number two, the White House. While the White House may seem like a shoo-in for the top spot, this super secure home isn't quite as safe as you might think. Now, on the surface, the White House does look like a difficult place to get into. If you'd like a tour, it is possible to legally get a look around a few carefully selected parts of the facility, although you must book 21 days in advance so that the Secret Service can do a comprehensive background check on you in order to decide whether or not to allow or deny you entry. However, if you happen to be someone who's not on a scheduled visit, then you'll have a far more difficult time. You see, every inch of the perimeter is surrounded in a complex set of infrared lasers that cover the sky, surface, and underground. They are sensitive enough to detect even the most minuscule of threats. And while this means that sometimes something as small as a squirrel can cause Secret Service agents to storm into the White House, this isn't seen as too big of a problem, as most agree it's better to be safe than sorry. Above ground, the airspace of Washington, D.C. is considered to be a no-fly zone. So if anyone or anything enters this area, a team of drones and a set of sensors will target it. And if necessary, there are several surface-to-air missiles that can be dispatched to deal with the threat. As a final resort, the White House also has a high fence and bulletproof windows, making the White House a difficult place to enter. However, despite the security in place, several people have managed to enter the White House uninvited. While some, such as Omar Gonzalez, have used violence, others, such as Robert Lata, were able to simply walk past all of the security. And so even with all of this, it is technically still possible to find a way around security and enter the White House. Number one, the Corby home. When it comes to security, few homes are as safe as the luxurious Corby home. 
owned by Al Corby, who was head of a security firm known as Strategically Armored and Fortified Environments, or SAFE. His house is nothing short of insane. Located in the Hollywood Hills, his mansion looks pretty standard from the outside, as it has crisp white walls covered in artwork, beautiful views of Los Angeles, and incredible furniture. However, the crazy security starts about 600 meters away from the house. You see, the Corby home is fitted with sensors that can pick up on people lurking as much as 800 meters away. And even if you do manage to get to the front door, it will only open if its biometric recognition software allows you to come in. However, if you happen to enter from another area of the house, you can expect to be hit with a smoke system that billows out both pepper spray and a mysterious fog that's meant to disorient intruders for up to 24 hours. Yet beyond intruders, the reality is that Los Angeles is an earthquake-prone area, and so in order to protect you against the worst that the city's geography has to offer, the Corby home also has a 2,500-square-foot bunker. You see, the home is bolted to the ground with the help of steel-reinforced concrete caissons that burrow nine meters down into Corby's private hilltop. And within this steel encasing, there's a 2,500-square-foot ballistics-proof bunker. Functioning as a fully equipped home inside of a home, it operates on geothermal power and has sustainable food supplies, personal water wells, and fully equipped medical facilities. Corby has a contract with a local helicopter company to pick him up and his family and whisk them away within 15 minutes of a dangerous incident occurring. So as such, few houses are quite as secure as Mr. Corby's. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.